This is a wedding between Moses Nokishu and Susan Sauli, both son and daughter of the Maasai community. They hail from Laikipia County, Aljijo village. They are the pride of the community as they have stayed true to what their culture demands of a man and a woman who choose to live together as a husband and wife. The wedding, which takes two days, starts early in the morning with a groom killing a bull at the bride's home at the crack of dawn. This marks the start of a new family, as no other person can marry the prospective bride after the bull is killed. Lakini sisi tumekata kama atutaki hiyo ambayo inaenda na kwa sababu harusi ni harusi. Ambayo kama wamepeana msijana inaenda kutoa mwiji yake. Na sisi hatutaki ati msijana aolewa na hiyo bwana alafu kesho mwingine hatutaki hiyo. Kama sasa ameshafanyika harusi kama hii, hiyo msijana ameenda kukua mwanamke ya hiyo bwana. Ameenda kuwa bibi kabisa ya mwenyewe. After this ceremony, the groom's family brings a diary in form of nine cows and are given to the girl's father and a sheep to the mother. These are gifts that they receive in the evening, after which the groom and his best man are expected to spend the night at the bride's home. The bride is then taken through a series of advice on how to build her own home. And contrary to the Christian wedding, where the best man is considered as an advisor to the groom, in a Maasai wedding, his duty is to protect the bride along the way to her new home, making sure that she is safe. Eh, kibuyu ambayo wanaeka kwa mgongo asimwagiki na asiharibiki na asipate ajali yote njiani na kutengeneza mavazi kama viatu ya bibi harusi mpaka nyumbani According to Lapita Sauli and Elder, the Maasai culture is binding and has no room for divorce. This is the most respected ceremony in Maasai land and it marks a new beginning for the bride. Like Ipia Deputy Governor John Mwaniki, who graced the occasion, appreciated that the county that has 23 communities living in the area, calling for continued peaceful coexistence. Having this kind of a wedding in a multicultural uh, area, we have different communities. Uh, personally, I've been here for the last two days. And uh, you can see I'm alive and kicking. That is a, a statement to confirm that indeed the Kipia has changed. I want to appeal to all Kenyans who may have a different opinion or misinformation about our county that it has changed for the better. Caroline Kamar reporting for Channel One News Hour.